Hey y'all, we are on our way to Disney Springs. It's about 4.15 on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and we thought we would uh, go have a couple of festive drinks um, to kick off this fun holiday. Um, it's also Adrian's birthday, so we're gonna take you along on a few fun things we're gonna do over the next three, four days. Hell yeah, we are. But um, it's it's a little um, rainy outside, and uh, we're gonna go see what the crowds look like at Disney Springs. So come along. Well, on the thirty third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me an almost cold day and dreary skies. So it kind of feels like Christmas. Here we are. Yeah, thirty three days out till Christmas, and Disney Springs is is coming along. They've got the decorations up. I can see Christmas trees inside Planet Hollywood. Uh, the, the tree walk is up where they have like, I don't know, how many trees? 12 trees? I think it may be a few more than that. We'll, we'll confirm this. One. Many, many trees you can go see. And I think these are three of them right here. So, um, yeah, where are we going? Where are we going? Are we going to get a Christmas old fashioned? Where are we going first? Come I don't along know. And see. Yeah, let's see where the, the, the night takes us. Every year, the Haunted Mansion tree is always my absolute favorite. You can see, there's Madame Leota. Floating candelabra. It's such a good tree. We've got the hurry back bride. <laughs> well, we made it to Jock's and I'm so glad we did because we snagged a high top. Look how festive it is. There's Amber. She is selecting Christmas drinks right now. Um, yeah, it looks so good in here. They do a really nice job. We haven't been in here in a hot, hot second. But um, I gotta say, it's 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 raining and it's relatively cold outside. But there are a lot of people coming in here trying to get spots. So the popularity has not waned. So we're kicking the festive drinking off with this post-flight milk and cookies with Coquito. And these cookies are, uh, this one is a bourbon eggnog snowflake cookie. This is a gingerbread reindeer cookie filled with dolce de leche. This is a chocolate peppermint Christmas tree cookie. And then that is the Coquito with Bacardi rum. I can't wait to try all this. It's so festive, so fun. A really great way to kick off Adrian's birthday. We also decided to try the hot chocolate grail flight. Um, so it looks like from the left to the right is the spice caramel with Captain Morgan Original Spice Drum. This one is the cookies and cream with white chocolate and Stoli vanilla vodka. And then this one is the uh, peppermint with Bailey's Irish cream liqueur and creme de mint white liqueur. So we're gonna give these a try as well. Pardon me. Yeah, that's my favorite. I um, I guess it's a hot chocolate. I don't think it was a hot chocolate, but it's my favorite of these three drinks. Um, this one, and Amber will tell you what, what they are, is the most hot chocolate. That one. This is the best drink overall. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I guess it's white chocolate. Sure, it's hot chocolate. It's so, delicious. Whatever's in this is delicious. So the one that Adrian has is actually the cookies and cream one. 
Um, I personally love the caramel one the most. Uh, I would agree with him. This is our least favorite of all three. This is the peppermint one. But honestly, they're all really good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Such a great way to kick off a long holiday weekend. The milk was divine. The cookies are amazing. I could have done without the two chocolates and just had four of the eggnog. I think they complement all the drinks better. But that's a small quibble. It's, yeah, like Amber said, this is a great way to kick off a holiday weekend. Amber decided she's finally going to catch up. Which one do you like more out of the milk and the hot chocolate? Oh my gosh, that's hard. Um, it might be the coquito because I really love yeah. coquito and yeah. um, I'm not a huge chocolate fan. This hot chocolate is fantastic though. Yeah. So. We use the term milk um, liberally here. It's more like a well, okay, so a melted I, cream. On, on the... Uh, on the menu, it's called the post flight milk and cookies. So it's not really <laughs> nice. This is freaking good either way. Well, you don't often see an empty bar at Jock Lindsay's. I gotta tell you, this is 100% empty because those are uh, servers at the end of the bar. They're not patrons. So yeah, uh, I think we just got a lull in the storm here. But uh, yeah, miracles happen even at Christmas. So look at this nice, warm, cozy spot we found. We're in the, um, the inside bar of the boathouse. The whole side of the bar was available, so we decided to come in. Really for one reason, this is why we come here. Um, these beauties right here, this is the Christmas Old Fashioned. They serve it from a couple weeks before Thanksgiving to just after January 1st. Amber, what's in this drink? So the Christmas Old Fashioned has Heaven's Door, Rosemary simple syrup, cherry bitters, garnished with a sprig of rosemary and cranberries. And just in case you're worried, there's a lot of Heaven's Door up here. They're not running out anytime soon, guys. So we just love it. And also, they did a great job. Look, everything's festive here, too, with a tree. <laughs> One of our all-time favorite snacks at the boathouse is this side of shrimp and andouille mac and cheese. It's so fantastic. I normally eat this as a full portion, just me, but sometimes we share it. So we just finished up at the Boathouse, which really is our favorite, I think, restaurant establishment in all of Disney Springs. But yeah, you can see it's really not that busy. The thoroughfares, I mean, there's people here, but it's, it's not slim. There's paddlefish. The decorations look good and the crowds just, um, they're light for, for the night before a holiday weekend uh, during one of the busier weeks we've seen. So we'll take it. So here's some more trees from the, the Christmas walk. There is another one kind of over here. I'm not sure which tree that is. It's hard to see too. But I have to say, my favorite one so far, with the exception of maybe the Haunted Mansion, would be this. This is the tree for Coco, the uh, animated Pixar movie. I think it's Pixar. Is it Walt Disney Animation or Pixar? It's one of the two. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Um, I said the crowds are light, but there's definitely a line for the Lego store. The only time... I've ever seen the Lego store without a line was before um, the last hurricane when we walked right in. So it turns out this is the Star Wars tree. You can see like Darth Vader's lightsaber up there. But if you look into it, there's little, they're not little, those are full size stormtrooper helmets tucked away. You know, the Empire's doing a good um, Christmas decorations on the uh, Imperial homeworld of Coruscant. Of course, you're all familiar with that. But yeah, I have to say, I think Coco's, I like Coco more than this tree. Still pretty cool, the helmets are awesome. Look, there's little Ewoks. The Imperial logo. They got a Rebel Alliance one. Yeah, they did a good job on this. Another Stormtrooper helmet from the, the First Order, I believe. Correction, of course, these are not Ewoks. I don't know why I took my wife's word at it for, for face value, but these are, of course, the uh, the Jawas from Tatooine, not the Ewoks from the third moon of Endor, as we all know. 
And I guess it makes sense. We're right outside of World of Disney to have the either the mini tree only or the Mickey and Minnie tree. I can't tell. It's definitely one or the other, though. Yeah, this one's pretty good, too. It's very traditional. Of course, the other unsung benefit of Dizzy Springs is the free music, free concerts you can go to. I have no idea who's about to start playing, but they're starting in a couple of minutes. So, uh, yeah, we'll sample the music and see what's up. But it is fun a night out. You can really make this a cheap night. Just grab a, a single cocktail or a Coke or a water, grab a seat, watch a show, and go home for a few bucks. Well, Christmas has certainly arrived. World of Disney looks great. Out with the old, in with the new. This is where the um, the Halloween decorations were for, I don't know, since July or August it felt like, up to a few weeks ago. But Christmas has moved in and it's so cute. I mean, look at these little, well, not little, the cutouts here of Mickey and Minnie. I feel like I'm walking through like a, a Main Street drugstore at Christmas time. It's great. For our next festive cocktail of the evening, we stopped off at the Polite Pig for their spiced rum old fashioned, which includes Parrot Bay spiced rum, Dr. McGillicuddy's apple liqueur, bitters, brown sugar, simple syrup. It's delicious, y'all. It's our first time. I'd say we'll have another. The other thing, great thing about Blight Pig is the bourbon selection here, the bourbon and whiskey selection. It's, I don't know if it's, it's the best in Orlando, but it's, it's definitely the best in Disney Springs and pretty great all around. If you want Pappies, they have it. Um, they have a lot of rare whiskeys. They do a lot of great flights here. Um, it's a good place to have a glass of bourbon. Some more of the Christmas decorations around Disney Springs. The main tree is up here, so we're gonna go see that. It's just there, so we're working our way up to it. But um, also, yeah, the, the crowds showed up. It didn't stay dead. The rain only kept a few people away for a while. It is definitely busy now. So we're gonna go finish off the decorations and go find some dinner off of Disney property. And there it is, the main tree at Disney Springs. I have to say though, my favorites are actually the palm trees all wrapped up, but they go all the way back down the corridor back there. But the big tree does look pretty darn good. Uh, it's kind of in between the, the two parking garages. If you're looking for it. But um, yeah, I think it speaks for itself. I believe this is the Moana tree. And it's looking pretty good, but not as good as on the other side of this fountain. But then we're for a Christmas tree. Look how good that looks. They did a nice job with this one. And all the trees, they've all been great. I almost missed zero. They've got zero flying around the top of this tree. It's awesome. No stone left, was done, left unturned. All uh, expenses were spared on this one. I get on Disney for having multiple pop-up parrot sanity stations. Only two people in the line for this one. Counting about four of these spread throughout the springs tonight. So if the kids get too rowdy, look out for the medicine. 
Even the orange girl's got it going on. One last look at Dizzy Springs. We're heading to one of our favorite Mexican restaurants for dinner. I'll show you that when we get there, but just wanted to give you one last look at the crowds on this uh, Thanksgiving Eve. Not too bad overall. A couple choke points, but mostly a great night.